There may come a time in your life when you are called upon to search for articles within one specific journal rather than a database. Let's talk about how to go about finding a specific journal so that you can search through it. Let's imagine that you want to find the journal, the British Journal of Criminology. To find this journal, let's start at utm.library.utoronto.ca. Click Advanced Search just beneath the library search big box. Type in the name of the journal, British Journal of Criminology. If the title of the journal has two or more words in it, try using quotation marks to make the title an exact phrase. Using quotation marks will increase the chances that the journal will be the first result that you get. Click the Any Field dropdown and change that to Title. Click the Format drop-down menu to the right of the line and change it from All Items to Journals. Click Search. Scroll down to see the results. We see that the first record says Available Online. Many journals will be available in print and online. In this video, we will only use the online format. Scroll down to Full Text Availability where you will find one or more links to providers of this journal. These links will take us out of library search and directly to the journal. When you encounter multiple links, you will ask yourself, which link should I choose? The main advice that I would give is to look at the dates covered. The only link option here that is up to date and current is the first one, CRKN, Oxford University Press, current. Most times you are going to want the most up-to-date content, so for this journal you will probably want to use the CRKN Oxford University Press current link. But let's also look at the link provided by Scholars Portal. I'm choosing this Scholars Portal version because many journals can be accessed through Scholars Portal, so you will see the name a lot. Remember, these are all links to the same journal, but the journal is presented differently by each provider and the different versions can look and function quite differently, even though the content is basically the same. With the Scholars Portal version, the content can be browsed by year, volume, and issue right from the landing page. You can easily find and open each issue and start browsing articles. The Scholars Portal format of the journal opens to the latest issue available on their platform. You can open more issues on the right, as you browse the issue, write down keywords that might interest you, and then you can search the journal just as you would a database. You can add search boxes, use Boolean operators such as AND, or along with other advanced search techniques. Let's imagine that this article about COVID in prisons interested you. Think about keywords and synonyms to search, just as you would if you were searching in a database. We'll type in COVID or pandemic in the first box. Click the little plus sign to add a box and type in prison or jail or incarcerated. Click search. We get three results, which could be a nice start. And we could go and carry out similar searches in other journals. Now let's look at the CRKN Oxford University Press version of the journal. Again, this is the same journal that we just looked at but through the platform of another provider. This version is more up to date than the Scholars Portal version and is current to the most recent issue at the time that I am making this video. The Oxford University Press version doesn't immediately open to an issue and doesn't have a clearly demarcated list of all the issues for browsing. Many journals will have landing pages that look like this. You will have to look for text like here in the upper left hand corner where it says issues if you want to browse all of the issues. Once you click issues, you'll be taken to the current issue and can browse other issues using these drop down menus. We can also search the journal using this box in the upper right hand corner. Unfortunately, there is only one search box here and no way to add more the way we could with the Scholars Portal version of this journal. There is an advanced search, so let's click that. Unfortunately, we see that there is still only one search box and no way to add more. Also, this box is tiny, 
so it won't be easy to craft more complex searches, even if we use brackets, which is a trick we can use to essentially create our own search boxes so we can more easily use the Boolean operator or. This format does provide this add term option, but it is a feature that you won't see often and you'll be better served in the long term by learning how to use brackets when searching in journals or databases that only provide one search box. So I'm gonna go ahead and add brackets and type in COVID or pandemic and in brackets, prison or jail or incarcerated. For this platform, we click update and it will search for the terms. Now we retrieve 34 articles. Remember that when we carried out the same exact search in the Scholars Portal version of this journal, we only retrieved three articles. The main difference is that this version is current to the date at which I am making this video, and in that one year, a number of articles were published that at least mentioned COVID. One last thing. Notice that this version of the journal mentions type over on the left-hand side. We see that these journal articles are listed as either research articles or book reviews. The Scholars Portal version does not alert you to content types like this version does. So with the Scholars Portal version, you would have to figure that out for yourself. Your instructors and people like us at the library will talk about journal articles as if all of the stuff in a journal was the same. In fact, journals have a bunch of other content types that might appear to be journal articles, uh, such as book reviews or letters to the editor, but they are not the research articles that your instructors are generally asking you to find. Therefore, make sure to open articles to make sure that they are research articles and not some other content type. If you need any help, feel free to stop by the reference desk at the library, email us at askutml.utm at utoronto.ca, or use the online chat from the UTM Library homepage, and we can help.